One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I admit it, another hole got me finished. Broke my heart, oh no you didn't. What's going on guys? We're nice Center back in another video. Welcome back to another news time. Um, Today, we don't have much. Um, we never really have much. We shouldn't have much. Um, I think really the only things we're gonna re we're really in all honesty are gonna get that's pretty common is probably entry level contracts being signed and um, uh, maybe some re signs here and there maybe some free agents get signed here and there and you know every now every once a month a coaching change so you know take that what you will this light is annoying as heck by the way um. <laughs> I'm like always trying to set up my camera because I record on my phone with this. Uh, I definitely need an alternative to that. And like this light over here is always being the biggest like annoyance in my entire life. Like I, I need an actual light and you know, I hope I'm get I hope I'm getting one um, Christmas and um, I also want LED lights because you know, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Anyways, that's not good. That's not what you guys are here for. Let's get into the news time. So, let's start off with some Nashville Predators news. Uh, second round pick, Evan Jelista, signs an extra level contract with the Nashville Predators. Now, as I said, this is probably going to be pretty common. Three-year contract, Evan Jelista, I did some research. Solid player for his team. You know, I think that he'll help out Nashville uh, in after next season. Um, second round pick, so, you know, that's, that's one of the things I didn't really expect to happen today. Because, you know. We haven't, I don't think that's, I think that's the first second round pick that's actually been signed to a legitimate contract. So, and you know, he got signed before Yaroslav Askarov too, which is actually kind of weird. But yeah, um, Evangelista kind of reminds me of the Evangelica. It's like an abandoned ship over in the Black Sea. It's probably gone, but like it was like a huge rusted constructed abandoned ship. You can just look it up. I was always a nerd back in, back in those days, back in those days. Anyways, um, Ulf Samuelson was named the Panthers' assistant coach. Um, he coached for, he was a Seattle Kraken scout, which um, made me think, what? He left already? And um, he was also an assistant coach of the Chicago Blackhawks, which could, which plays a part in here. So Joel Quenville is the coach of the Florida Panthers. With, um, with Ulf Samuelson heading over to Florida, he's going to bring in, you know, the chemistry with John Quenville. And, you know, they, they can construct something with that. They can construct something on the ice. Because, you know, the Chicago, those Chicago Blackhawk teams that um, that Quenville and um, Samuelson coached, they did pretty dang well. They won three Stanley Cups in five years. So, you know, you translate that to this Florida team, not necessarily the exact players that they would want, but they'll definitely make it work. They'll get the offense out of those guys. They'll get the defense going and maybe... Even if they can, they may be able to get Bobrovsky and them about, about the back season. That's another discussion, though. So, you know, if you're a Panthers fan, although this team's minor, I would be definitely excited about this. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Cole Perfetti has signed an entry-level contract with the Winnipeg Jets for a three-year, $925,000 contract. Um, this is to be expected. Cole Perfetti was a steal um, for, the, for the Winnipeg Jets, dropped to 10th overall. And the Jets were obviously going to pick him up. I, if they picked up, if they picked up someone else, I was going to be shocked. Um, you know, he is a top of the notch goal scorer. He's arguably the best goal scorer in the. He was arguably one of the best goal scorers in the whole draft. And um, you know, he's really going to put. He's really going to put up the goals for Winnipeg, and that's might maybe what they need. You know, you got Patrick Laine and Cole Perfetti. Imagine that if Patrick Laine stays with the team, of course. Um, Rupe Hints, this is the final piece of news I have here because really nothing else happened today. Uh, Rupe Hints re-signed with the Dallas Stars for a three-year, $3.15 million contract. Uh, Rupe Hints played very well in the playoffs for the Dallas Stars. He gets the raise. He deserves it. Well-deserved. And I think that, you know, with this Dallas team, bring back Rupe Hints. They can make another shot for the Stanley Cup. I don't necessarily see it happening with, uh, Bishop and, uh, Kudobin out, especially with that... Especially with an Oninger, Kudobin, um, Kudobin Tandem. Kudobin's never been a starter, by the way. So, we're going to see how that goes. I don't expect anything really good to come out of that. But, um, you know, we're going to see what happens. I think, I think Dallas can push through. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please make sure to like it to subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to change up the setup back here. You know, basically moving stuff around until I can actually get more pennants and stuff that I can put around the wall and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like it to subscribe button. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.